We're Democrats. Independents. And Republicans. As judges, our job is not about politics. It's about standing up for what's right. And that's why we all support Sherry Beasley. She's independent and will get things done. But that's not how Washington works. Ted Budd is part of that problem. He's focused on what is good for him, not North Carolina. We don't need the same old politicians. We need someone different. We need Sherry Beasley. I'm Sherry Beasley, and I approve this message. Democratic candidate and former Judge Sherry Beasley is in a tight race for the open Senate seat in North Carolina, a state Donald Trump won twice. A recent Emerson College poll shows Beasley is only three percentage points behind Trump-backed election-denying candidate Congressman Ted Budd. By the way, we did invite Congressman Budd to the show, but we didn't get a response. Beasley was the first black woman to serve as North Carolina Supreme Court Chief Justice and is hoping to make history again as its first black female senator. And join me na- joining me now is North Carolina Democratic Senate candidate Sherry Beasley. Judge Beasley, thank you very much for coming to The Sunday Show. Good to see you, Jonathan. So on Friday, during Trump's rally for Congressman Bud in Wilmington, uh, Donald Trump attacked you in a rant calling you a, quote, Marxist radical. Have a listen. She was a judge, Sherry Beasley was. She was a Marxist radical who personally stopped the death sentences of eight death row inmates convicted of the most hideous crimes. Sherry Beasley is so far left on crime, she formed a fundraising partnership with the most militant to fund the police Democrat in Congress, a person called Cori Bush. Did you ever hear of her? And she'll support deadly sanctuary cities releasing dangerous criminal aliens into your North Carolina communities. I mean, I'm, well, I'm just sorry we played that, that ridiculous sound. But I would love to have your response to that, uh, Judge Beasley. You know, Jonathan, I, uh, I, this, it's hard to respond to it. I mean, you know, this is very dangerous and very desperate fear-mongering. Um, and it's disheartening to hear a former president uh, speak uh, ill of a former uh, judge and chief justice of the Supreme Court of North Carolina. And what's even more disheartening is my opponent, Congressman Ted Budd, is aligning himself with this kind of dangerous uh, and desperate fear-mongering and misinformation. Um, I, you know, it's, it, it's disappointing that the former president mm-hmm. would come here. But it's important for people here in North Carolina to know uh, that Congressman Ted Budd uh, is aligning himself with that kind of uh, fear-mongering. It's important for people to know that Congressman Ted Budd is an election denier. He called the mob that stormed the Capitol patriots. He has aligned himself with the most extreme faction of his party. And he has made it very clear that he is completely absorbed and consumed with his own self-interest and that of corporate and special interests. He is very much absorbed with the pettiness and partisan politics in Washington. And the interests of people here in North Carolina are not at all of primary Mm -hmm. interest for him. And I know it's important for North Carolina And we deserve a senator who's going to fight hard for our interests here Mm -hmm. in North Carolina. And that's exactly what I'll do. Well, Judge Beasley, an Emerson College poll shows a majority of North Carolina voters list the economy as their top issue. What specifically are you hearing from voters on the campaign trail about that? You know, I travel all across Mm -hmm. our big state. We're the ninth largest in the nation with 100 counties, and I've been to all 100. And it's true that people are very, very concerned about rising costs, and they want to know that the next senator is going to fight hard to lower costs. People are feeling everything from pain at the pump to uh, the price of prescription drugs and everything in between. Groceries are more expensive. People want to know that the next senator is going to fight hard and that so many people are working two and three jobs uh, to take care of their families. And so it is important that the next senator be committed to fully uh, fighting for people here in the state. And that's exactly what I'm committed Mm -hmm. to doing. Abortion is another key issue. How much has the Dobbs decision impacted your race, especially now that Congressman Budd is co-sponsoring a House bill that is a companion to Lindsey Graham's Senate legislation for a federal abortion ban? Well, it's clear that Congressman Bud is completely out of step with uh, the majority of people here in North Carolina and the majority of people in this country who support uh, and understand that women have for nearly 50 years had a right uh, to 
uh, make these decisions for themselves without government interference. And as a former judge and chief justice of the Supreme Court, I certainly know uh, that the right to abortion is a constitutional right. And uh, and it is it is a lot of women are going to find themselves in real, da real danger. You know, women who have septic uteruses and who have miscarriages that don't naturally pass through their bodies and ectopic pregnancies. I mean, mm -hmm. these women will not be able to get the treatment that they need. And unfortunately, women will die if this legislation passes. We absolutely must have someone in the Senate who's going to fight hard to protect women and our freedoms. And there is absolutely no place in an examination room with a woman and her doctor for Congressman Ted Budd. I would also ask your viewers for more information on my campaign to please visit SherryBeasley.com.